welcome back. A little bit of a pattern change we've got going on here. We've got a cold front moving across the state that's triggering some showers and thunderstorms across the region. Most of these storms expected to stay sub severe, but east of I 25 along the lower Arkansas or River Valley should is receive a, some stronger storms today that could approach the severe weather criteria with some moderate size hail and some stronger winds being the primary concern. Right now, those areas along the eastern plains are dry. We've primarily just dealing with some scattered showers and thunderstorms here across portions of El Paso County with some heavier rain on the south side of town, closer to Fort Carson, Mesa Ridge Parkway, and we've got a changeover to a bit of a rain snow mix here uh, closer to the Woodland Park area. As a matter of fact, let's check out conditions in Woodland Park just so we can see what's happening at the surface. Uh, notice that we've still got a little bit of filtered sunshine there and a mostly dry in the uh, town area, but this is uh, mainly in the downtown location. So our radar is kind of pointing at uh, most of that rain snow mix just almost north of Woodland Park right now and along the Rampart Range. You'll be using those windshield wipers as you go north closer to Douglas County over the next couple of hours. Uh, this system is all again part of that cold front that will continue to make that journey south uh, through the evening hours and will continue to trigger more showers and snow showers overnight tonight. Let's take you to our winter weather alerts that are in place across Taylor County and western sections of El Paso County. This is for a general one to three inches of snow on the lower side, two to four on the higher side. Most of this is going to accumulate on grassy surfaces, but as temperatures cool into the 20s tonight, we could have some slushy roads for our local mountain cities by early tomorrow morning. Most of the liquid precipitation that comes through today will be in the form of showers and thunderstorms as we move through the afternoon time frame. Look at that cold air rushing south along Highway 50, continuing to trigger showers and thunderstorms from 4 to 7 p.m. around Pueblo and portions of the southeastern plains. And then we endure a, dream, a brief little dry period around El Paso County late this evening, but we get kind of a secondary push of moisture wrapping around this low pressure center by tomorrow morning. First, here's a look at those overnight lows in the 20s tonight, and then you'll notice that second push of moisture coming through for early tomorrow morning uh, with a rain snow mix kind of hugging the I-25 corridor through the early afternoon hours. We will see more showers and thunderstorms across the southeastern plains before we'll start to see those skies gradually clearing out through the afternoon with just a few isolated residual showers and thunderstorms on the backside of this system Saturday afternoon, but certainly not a washout. The morning, though, could be a little bit uh, weird, dreary and just kind of slushy and wet tomorrow morning, and then we'll start to see improvements by tomorrow afternoon. There's a look at the future cast rain, snow, light rain across the eastern Plains looking for more of that slushy wet snow north of Colorado Springs and west of I-25 through Teller County. Tomorrow temperatures will be cooler in the 40s to near 50 degrees and we will start to see a decrease in cloud cover by tomorrow afternoon and then Sunday plenty of sunshine with highs in the 60s even some areas near the 70 degree mark. So it is looking pretty nice for us on Sunday. Here's a look at your monument 70 forecast highs in the 40s for Saturday morning rain snow mix and then we start to improve through the afternoon time frame. Temperatures warming into the 50s for Willen Park on Sunday, gradually back into the 60s by Saturday or excuse me by Monday of next week. Colorado Springs 40s to near 50 degrees, a chilly and dreary start to the weekend before we feel those temperatures warm back up into the 60s with just ample sunshine on Sunday. Sunday is going to be gorgeous, a little breezy across the region, but it will be very nice and seasonal by the end of the week.